Good day. Wow, what a rainstorm today. I can't believe it. I, I just went in the church and then all of a sudden came out. It's coming down in sheets. Anyway, from Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. The hand of the Lord was upon me and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley. It was full of bones. And he led me round and round them. And behold, there were very many upon the valley. And lo, they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Have you felt like that? I mean, like, you're just down to skin and bones. There's nothing left. Or or you wonder if, if anything can be added to, uh, to make these dry bones uh, come alive again. So for the people of Israel, so for our lives too. We think that all is lost at times, that, uh, that life is just too much for us. We've been played out. There's no more energy left. We're down to skin and bones. But God promises us much more. Promises us uh, peace, reassurance, and a Savior who comes to die for us. That in His weakness we find strength. And in His rising from the dead we find life. So the answer to that question, will these bones live? Of course they will. And for us as well. Of course they will. God will raise us up as on eagle's wings. Shall we pray? The God of life take us out of the valley of the dry bones and breathe life into us. Let your spirit empower us for new life in your name. And amid all the uh, uncertainties of life, make us sure about one thing, that you are beside us. In fact, you are leading us. And now for all these things we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Good day. Dry bones give them life. My only advice tonight, don't take the elevator. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. And may God bless.